In this lecture, we're going to cover how to create tracks in Logic Pro 10. There are three ways to do it. And the first way is to come up here to Logic Pro 10 and scroll over to track. Under track, go to new track. And it's going to give you the option to create tracks. The second way to create tracks is by clicking on this plus sign within the workspace window. So you click there, you have the different options that you can choose from as well. Okay. Now the third way is really the quickest way and that's using your hotkeys. Now, if you hold down option command in the letter in for new track, the window is going to pull down as well. Okay. Now when creating a software instrument track, this is going to give you access to all the internal sounds within logic. You can create how many software instrument tracks you want. And you can create your output depending on what you have. Usually putting that one over um, one plus two or one, two is going to be the best way to do it. Okay. You can also choose the actual sound from the jump to, but you know what I'm saying? It gives you the flexibility to do all of those things within here. Same with the audio track. You can do record and able. You always want to have that selected. And you can pick it however many tracks you want. Make sure you you have the, the correct input selected. So if you have your mic plugged into mic one, make sure it's at mic one. If you have it plugged into mic two, make sure it's at mic two. And then you can choose from your drummer. And then you can come over here and get the right genre that you want, whatever you want here. You can do hip hop, electronic, whatever, whatever. OK, so I'm going to create that to show you what's going on with that. But that's pretty much how you create new tracks within the logic. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. In the next section, we're going to cover MIDI.